everyone. So if you've watched any of these videos before, you'll know how much I love Gloucester Services and we are just there now. Only Chris <gasps> has never been to Gloucester Services. Time, baby. And we're a little bit worried if we're honest that we've built it up a little bit too much. Uh, but we're gonna go in now, get some treats, some lovely bits and pieces, and hopefully Chris can see that it's lovely. <laughs> so impressed. I haven't found the Burger King yet, but apart from that, this place is amazing. <laughs> okay, not much this time, guys. So some biltong, some salami, and some of my favorite chocolate. Um, we are outside now, um, hence obviously no masks because we're away from everybody, and <laughs> the Lacious has Hello. Uh, quite a bag. Yeah. So Chris, tell me, what have you got? Well, uh, I did copy Dave, so first and foremost, I got the snacking cheese. Thought strong. classic, yes. strong never yeah, go yeah. wrong. You may remember from previous videos. Then I got the uh, <laughs> snackling crackling, but with apple. Oh! Mm. Oh! Oh, I know. <laughs> Touch of class. Some nugget chili <laughs> sausage bites. Sounds good. Uh, some of this because it reminds me of when I go to Leicester Square and I have their fancy popcorn. Very so fancy. some maple syrup and roasted pecan. Mm -hmm. Some cherry bakewell fudge. And last but not least, some yeah. gluten-free, milk-free, all the freeze, uh, millionaire shortbread and chocolate tiffin. We're just going to sit here for a little while now while we wait for the other vehicle to catch up, uh, which is our little van, and then onward to the travel lodge, <laughs> which it, it is a nice shear over there, I think. I think it's sort of over there, but you get the idea. Rachel, what's in your bag? <laughs> I've got a lovely spicy sheriff sausage roll, Ooh. a smoky joe scotch egg. Oh yes. Posh, very Yay! expensive, ridiculous chocolate. I also have expensive, ridiculous chocolate. Yay. Yay. A can of fizzy rhubarb. It says, deliciously tart. <laughs> like me. <laughs> I've got a <clears throat> sweet potato, caramelized onion, and goat's cheese. Scotch egg with a soft centre. Oh, that great. And I also went for a chicken and chorizo scotch egg. And then I caught it out myself. I got a uh, wild ball and chorizo pie. Oh, <laughs> oh. And I was like, well, we're getting paid tomorrow, so <laughs> spend, spend, spend. spend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hooray, we love Gloucester. you, Gloucester Services. Hi, guys. So it's first night, first travel lodge. We've got to the door that takes you into the corridor. And mine and Rachel's key doesn't work. So Dave lets us through and Rachel's like, oh, I'll just go run down to our room, just in case the key doesn't work. Key doesn't work. First night on tour, can't get into our room. So I'm now stood in the corridor with all of our bags while the lovely Rachel goes down to the lovely man on the desk um, to try and get us a key that works. But yeah, start as you need to go on, right? Good morning, everybody. Um, oh, wow, I'm already spotting breezes. They're obviously from, yeah, let's get out some stuff back in Cornwall. Okay, so as you can see, I am in the back of our second vehicle. Um, we are on the way to our first, get to our first show. Um, yeah, I'm doing this now because I don't know how much time I'm obviously going to have at the venue. Uh, our plan for today is we will do our get in, which is going to obviously take a little bit longer than it will once we get used to it. Then we are going to hopefully receive our last few costumes so we can rehearse those costume changes, uh, rehearse sound cues and things because there's been a, a slight change in the way we're planning on managing that. I've still got the tags on my boots because they don't come off till opening night. Very exciting moment. Oh, Rachel is opening the costumes that have just arrived. Oh, this is exciting! That's a Margaret. I can see a Margaret. Oh, hello. Well, it looks a bit more pinky than I remember. Maybe it's just the. That's Ursula. Oh, it's so beautiful! Isn't it? Hero. Oh yes, one's a green one. Very pretty. And, oh, that's gorgeous. And Beatrice. Oh. Little fashion show. So this is Salacious in his yellow ensemble. Woo! And then in the corner is Margaret. Oh, you look so cute. And then beautiful Hero. 
with an enormous belt. Yeah, we're not quite sure whether Rachel had like, I don't know, too many clothes on the day she measured herself or something. Da, 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 da. I don't know if you can see, I don't know how the light is because I forgot to flip the thing up, but yay, we have costumes, actual costumes. Oh. Oh. There we go, hello everyone. So we've just done our first get in and it was a wetting as you can tell by my raincoat. I'm actually, I've currently got my hat balanced on my camera to try and protect it. But here we are. There is our set in situ. Looking absolutely lovely. Um, we're off for a little bit of food now. Uh, we've spent the morning obviously putting the set up, doing a couple of sound checks, working on a couple of things to do the sound system. And what we've got to do after we have our lunch is work on our quick changes. Now we've got our new costumes. Uh, so we just have to go and do lunch first. Quick changes, tea, show. Okay guys, not gonna lie, having a bit of a moment. Haven't been on stage in so long. I'm not the kind of performer that normally gets very nervous at all. Um, and yet, if you can tell, I'm really nervous right now. Hmm, yeah, yeah, this is actually happening. Hmm, hmm. Okay, <laughs> everybody ready? Yeah. Okay, first show. I think so. Break a leg, everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, Editing Nicola here. You can tell I'm from the future because I am considerably browner and also my hair is a lot blonder. It's gone really blonde in the uh, summer this year. But yes, I did not do a lot of recording. I didn't do any recording during the show or indeed after the show on that first performance because it was, and I do not use this word lightly, overwhelming. Um, it was my first time on stage in so long. I was very nervous. I was catch myself every so often and just realize this is happening, I'm back on stage. And it was very emotional. Um, in, the, uh, in the finale, in the bows, one of the audience members took a photo and I caught the moment where I started to cry. Um, and I, I mostly held myself together while I was on stage. But when I got off at the end, I absolutely sobbed um, in the arms of uh, Rachel, one of my team, because I just, I can't put into words how it felt to be back on stage doing that like after everything we've been through it was it was amazing and it was also exhausting at the same time and it was so many feelings and emotions and I was to be honest too vulnerable to pick up the camera and do anything on that day which is why you're seeing me here now um however I don't really think it was bad it was it was amazing. The audience were wonderful. Even though it was freezing, I think it was single figures temperatures that evening. Despite that, the audience were just so passionate and they were so full of joy and just the most incredible receptive audience, despite the fact that it was a freezing cold evening. So if you came to see that show, our very first show, then thank you so much because you were the most wonderful audience and it meant the world to me to be standing on that stage with four incredible other actors putting across this beautiful piece of theatre and getting the reception that we did. So thank you so much. Welcome to Rithin. This is an absolutely beautiful venue. This is the view from the stage. The acoustic here is lovely. So it's going to be a much easier one vocally than we had last night. We're all set up, as you can see, and we're just about to go and have some tasty food. My food. Rachel waiting for food expectantly. Oh, how civilized is this? Such beautiful surroundings. Yeah. Ah, oh, plus dessert, which is technically crumble, but without the crumble. And then there was a fruit salad, so I just thought, why not combine the two? Because why not? <laughs> okay, everybody, so we need to finish that get out at Rithin. Van is almost completely packed. As always, we have to play with the pack to try and find the best one um, once we're on the road. So here's hoping we got it right this time. Just gonna go and do an idiot check now to make sure we haven't left anything behind. And then we're going home. We've been away for five weeks, which after 15 months of not leaving my house was a very long time. So I'm really looking forward to going home. Chris, doing the idiot check. Make sure you've not left anything. 
Um, I don't know if there's any sunset left. There's always a lovely sunset from here, but because we go driving home tonight, I think we all really pushed it to make sure we could get out quickly. So normally we stop and take pictures of the sunset. It's not quite as stunning as it probably was a little while ago, but still pretty pretty. Well, okay, so I think I probably do actually look as terrible as this light is making me, but <laughs> me and Chris are in the van and we're going home and some of the others who are in the car in front. Oh. Yay! I'm so excited. Right, gotta drive. Bye. Hello everyone. I'm home. As you can probably tell I'm sat on the floor in my studio. Um it is ten past two in the morning. And that's the first week or at least weekend on tour, successfully completed. Yay! Here's to whatever the rest of the tour may bring. Good night, everyone.